Good morning, children. It's so good to see you today. And oh, look, you've done really great. You've got your shoes off. They're stacked neatly in the corner there. That's wonderful. Well, you know what? We're going to do a wonderful story today, but I want to know first, are you ready for the story? You are? Great. Well, then let's cross the threshold into the sacred space. Welcome, everyone, to Godly Play. It is October 18th, and it is the anniversary of our patron Saint Luke. It is the 20th Sunday after Pentecost in our calendar. Kathleen will now join us and lead us in song. Well, today we are singing, This is My Commandment. <clears throat> this song repeats, um, so it's fairly easy to catch on to. Um, oops, what's going on here? Um, it goes, This is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. And then you sing that again. This is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. And then it goes, That your joy may be full that your joy may be full. Then you repeat the very first line, this is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. So let's try it and we'll sing it two times through. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment supposed to be. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, so nice and simple. And B-I-B-L-E spells the Bible. Okay, so we'll sing this one through two times as well. That's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L E. B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L E. Our story today is the 10 best ways. And it takes place in the desert. The desert is a dangerous place. People only go there if they have to. The wind is strong, and many people lose their way, and they don't come out of the desert. There is no water in the desert. 
Without water, you die. There is no food in the desert. Without food, you die. When the wind blows, the sand stings your skin. And the sun is so strong in the day that people need a lot of clothes to protect their skin. It's very cold at night. So when people are in the desert, they need to wear a lot of clothes to protect them. The people of God went through the water into freedom. And Miriam led the dancing. The people were so happy, they were free. They could go wherever they wanted. They could do whatever they wanted. What would they do? Where would they go? God loved them so much that he gave them the 10 best ways. The people followed Moses in the desert and they followed smoke during the day and fire at night. It was hard to go through the desert and some people complained. There was not enough food and there was not water. God helped Moses find food and water, but some people still wanted to go back. They got to the great Mount Sinai. The people were afraid. They got near the mountain, but they did not want to go up the mountain because the mountain was covered with smoke and fire. Moses was the only one who was brave enough to go up to the mountain. On the mountain, Moses came so close to God and God came so close to Moses that Moses knew what God wanted. God wanted Moses to write down the 10 best ways or the Ten Commandments on stone tablets and bring them down to the people. And that's what Moses did. Love God, love people, and know that God loves you.
Do not serve other gods. Make no idols to serve. Do not speak God's name lightly. Keep the Sabbath holy. Honor your father and mother. Do not kill. Do not break your marriage. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not want what others have. These are certainly not easy. They're hard, sometimes impossible, but God wants us to try. They mark the best ways to live, like stones that mark a path. Now I wonder, which one of these best ways do you like the best? Which one of these best ways do you think is the most important? Which one of these best ways do you see yourself in? Now we'll go back to the story and let's think what part of the story, let's wonder what part of the story you like best. What part of the story do you think is the most important? Where in the story do you see yourself? Is there a part of the story we could leave out, but then still have everything we need? I wonder. I'm so thankful that you could be with us today. And we will just say a prayer we could just bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we could be together today on St. Luke's Day. Thank you so much that we can learn from your word and we could live lives that will be honoring to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. Wasn't that a great story that we heard from the storyteller today? I hope you thank the storyteller because it was, was such great news to hear. Well, now it's time to go down to meet your family and your parents again. So let's cross back over the threshold. Let's get our shoes on and let's go downstairs and have a great week. <laughs>